In April 2012, I was getting bored of school. So being a filmmaker and an unusually good whistler, I decided to combine the two interests and enter an international whistling competition and make a movie out of it. So what are we doing, Austin? We are going to Louisburg to whistle. Nice, we are going to Louisburg to whistle. Seven twenty-six a.m. I just woke up and it's time to go to North Carolina. This is a story you will hear nowhere else. Oh, that delicious burrito. Right. Where the frick are we? Yeah, where are we? <laughs> where are we? There we go. There we go. We're here. We're here in the. <laughs> <laughs> the middle of nowhere, Louisburg. Okay. We are lost <laughs> in Louisburg. <laughs> Alright, we found it. Austin and I arrived in Louisburg, which we had been pronouncing wrong yes. until then. Population 3500, downtown was smaller than 2x2 two two blocks. This is a whistling convention? Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay, cool. are you ready to whistle? Oh, hold on. Oh, you're good. competing, huh? I am competing, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Indeed, awesome. Awesome. Good. And it, 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 it really has a very, very nice sound on that. And one of the things I've been working a lot on is combining vibrato like that with like tongue, you know, tongue waggle vibrato, and doing the both. And right. I'm finding that it, it gives me a lot more, like, emotional expressive range. See, I don't even know what the judges are looking for. For example, um, vibrato. Do they want a lot of vibrato? Do they want a little? After I registered, Austin and I were invited to a small gathering of avid whistlers where we socialized and whistled. First, I, I thought it was down here, but it's not. It's like... It was definitely the first time I ever talked about advanced whistling techniques. I'd say at least one out of every three commercials that I hear on television has whistling lines. Yeah, and I'm line. thinking, who are these whistlers that are getting these jobs? Yeah, I want right? to I I know how to do that. I heard Brown actually has a whistling choir. Uh, it's not Brown, it's Vassar. Oh, it's Vassar. Yeah, we had stumbled upon the world's whistling niche, and everyone we met so far weren't new to the convention. Uh. There were whistlers here who were extremely knowledgeable about whistling and the whistling community worldwide. I don't think everybody should be a whistler. I don't think everybody should play golf. None of us should be exactly alike. We are following a natural art. Anyone who wants to do what we are doing, they could do the same thing and they probably would enjoy it. And they might, like us, do it for 39 years. The next day, whistlers from all around the world converge for the 39th year. I'm an artist. I do many type of creativity. So here I am whistling in Louisburg. Louisburg. I've been looking for this to meet whistlers like me for 34 years. Do you think you can win? Do you think you can win? <laughs> <laughs> Join me in singing or whistling the national anthem. Oh, say Mitch Heider, I'm going to be the master of ceremonies. Truly an international event. We are starting off with a whistler from France. I think it's really interesting. Um, lots of different characters here. I know it might be other, considered as a somewhat quirky kind of hobby, but I think it's slowly maturing into um, a form that which a lot more people can enjoy it and also can even have a serious 
kind of expression. Seven hours away, all my other friends were in classes. I was whistling on stage in Lewisburg, North Carolina. Looking forward to this part, this time of the year, because uh, get to meet everyone and uh, we're like a big family, you know, without any boundaries. It's like one thing, whistling, which is what that unites everyone. I am uh, one of the judges at the whistling competition this year. I'm a former. Um, national whistling champion in 1990 and 91 I won this competition. Lewisburg is just a, a space in time. It's it's just small town America. It's you know it's a wonderful visit I'm sure from you know from the contingent from uh, from Japan and Korea. This is this is a lot different than going from to New York or California. Do you think Japanese are the best whistlers? <laughs> if they're not the best whistlers, they got to be pretty close to the top. <laughs> So, like, he had some health problems, so he wanted to strengthen his lungs and stuff. So, he thought it was a good exercise for maintaining his health. I used to be a network engineer. I quit my job and ran off to the circus. And I whistle for a living now. Oh, yeah, no, I do make a living off of whistling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's possible. It can be done. I toured uh, North America, Canada, and the United States. I was a teenager. I was at home I, by myself. I thought I was uh, whistling the, um, all four movements of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. And I happened to turn and look, and my whole family is standing beside, behind me. And uh, they're like, okay, you're, you've got something there. So your and whole family is very yeah. supportive. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very supportive. Here was a man who decided to dedicate his life to the art of whistling. A professional whistler. One of a handful that ever existed. Yet I had to remind myself that not everybody at the convention was like him. In fact, I realized I was subconsciously trying to generalize these people when in reality, the reasons for people whistling were far and wide apart. Even the styles of whistling displayed were so distinct from each other. Some people whistled seriously, others did it as a way to cope with health issues. Still, there were others that would surprise us even more with their story. Because I came from North Korea when I was 15 years old, I escaped to North Korea. Oh, wow. And uh, I missed my parents, so I whistled. And I came to the United States, leaving my wife and uh, two uh, children. I missed them, then I whistled. Whistling calmed my uh, sadness, also perks sometimes uh, out of depression. Great. So, a uh, therapeutic effect. Mm. Thank you. This is such a joy to be here. I get the feeling that everybody who whistles has got to be happy. My, my title currently is female grand champion, and tomorrow, who knows? <laughs> yeah. I whistle because I have learned that it is a great way for me to deal with my anxiety. Hmm. Um, I have an anxiety disorder, um, and when I'm really nervous, uh, I end up whistling. 
and it calms me down. Um, sometimes I think I'm a total dork for doing it, really. I totally discount myself for that. I heard you doing a, a two-tone whistling. Is that, is that the technical term? Um, it's called a double whistle. Now, uh, Ian Chi is here from Atlanta, and he is going to do uh, Brahms Hungarian Dance number five. For the second time, I got up on stage and whistled in front of an audience of about 70 or 80. It was mostly competitors and their friends and family, maybe with the occasional curious bystander. Some people had traveled thousands of miles to compete in Lewisburg, but Austin and I soon realized that most weren't here to really compete. They weren't even here to grandly celebrate whistling or perform in front of flocks of people. They just simply liked to whistle and get together with others who liked it too. When we come back, when we come back, the champion. Here we are at Remington Grill, surrounded by fellow whistlers. Hello, whistlers. Stanley. Uh, Seth Stanley. Technique, musicality, stage presence. See this writing here. <laughs> Coming to Lewisburg with Austin, I didn't really know what to expect. Teenage Champion Award. First place in the guys category is Pablo. What we found was a warm and welcoming group of whistlers that in the end we could only admire for their enthusiasm. Teenage Champion Female Category, Narumi Takata. I couldn't help but think that back at school in so many places around the world, most people were voluntarily laboring through their mediocre daily routines and weren't doing what they really wanted to do or what they were truly passionate about. First place, international grand champion, women's category, 2012, Akiko Shibata. Yet here in the tiny town of Lewisburg, North Carolina was a small gathering of whistlers who were bonding over their common passion for what may seem like a silly thing to many, whistling. Men's Grand Champion for 2012, Sean Lomax. What do you like most about this whole event? Whole event? Uh, from Alpha to Omega, I know it. Every minute. It's more than a million bucks to be among you guys. The world right now, this very right now, need us whistlers. Too much blood, too much greed, too much ego. Whistlers, we can clean that up. 